Welcome to Winter Pond Week with the Exploring Nature with Children curriculum. So grab your net and bucket and... We're going to have a look at this pond for some inspiring ideas that you can do at home. This is a lovely example of a winter pond because if you look, you can see where my stick is, it's frozen. But it's amazing because it's like a sheet of glass because you can see lots of plants underneath growing and sticking out through the water. If we go under the ice, you can begin to see more of the life hidden in the pond. We can learn more about some of the life hidden in the pond with the Twinkle Pond Life PowerPoint. This begins to show some of the different layers you can get in a pond. And we've used this to inspire our first craft activity of making a pond booklet. To make this, you'll need some coloured paper or cards, some pens, scissors, glue, and something see-through to be your water, or maybe just using some tissue paper. Start with your top colour of card and to draw your pond shape on it. Once you've done this, you want to cut out your pond shape and then put that on the next layer down and then draw around your pond. So it's getting slightly smaller at each layer. Then again, cut this one out and repeat this process until you've done as many layers as you would like as to how deep your pond's going to be. We then stuck our see-through plastic on the back of each layer in our pond to be the water. Once you've done this, you might like to add some of the different animals you can find at each layer in the pond. So we've put fish near the top and we're putting some submerged plants deeper down in the pond, just like you can see at the pond we visited. You can then add other plants at different layers so that you can show how some parts of the plants float on the top and other parts go into the soil deeper down in the pool. This was a lovely way to look at all the different layers of the pond and we hope you enjoyed doing this too. Next we'll have a look for some wildlife around the pond and we'll have a look under this log to see if we can find anything. Nope. Nothing. What's about under this log? No. So you might not be able to spot any frogs at the pond, but we know there are some somewhere. There are lots of different twinkle frog activities. However, we're going to do an origami frog, which is really easy to make. And you can simply follow the lines on the twinkle sheet or watch this video slowly to see each of the different stages of the folds you need. They're very simple to make and then do a zigzag fold at the end and cut it so you've got your two legs and then you can watch your frog hop along. I'm just gonna have a go at some pond dipping to see if we can find any creatures that might be living in the pond. Oh, there's something. Oh, we have found a couple of little things. Can you see them? Oh, wow. Finding this mosquito larvae has inspired our last craft activity of making our own. It wriggles around just like it did inside our tub. What you need to make this is an old egg carton, some scissors, paper straws, pencil and string. Start by cutting up your egg carton into all of the separate sections. So you've got lots of sections just like the segments on the mosquito larvae. Then make a hole in each of your segments very carefully using a pencil or something sharp. Once you've done this, we can then sew together all of the different segments. So we're using paper straws in between each segment to help space them out, just like they're spaced out on the mosquito larvae, so they don't get too clumped up together. This gives a really good shape, just like the body of the shape of the mosquito larvae we found. Once you've tied all your segments together, you'll have a nice long chain. We then added a tail on at the end and we put two on for a head as well with some pom-pom balls and it made a lovely wriggly mosquito larvae. This has been amazing because we've actually seen some of the creatures living in the pond. But I think now it's time to carefully return it. Thank you so much for joining me for Winter Pond Week. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out more of our Exploring Nature with Children videos. And we look forward to seeing you again soon for more nature fun.